what is one thing that you have been excited about that you've returned to? Have you ever strayed away from something or got away from something, whether it was uh, something you used to have passion for, like a hobby or a job, maybe arguing with your spouse and you're happy you returned to them. There was something you used to do like painting, drawing, writing, doing music, reading God's word. What is something, write this below, what's something that you have been so excited and glad that you've returned to? In this new series that we're doing, these, these upcoming daily devos, is we're going to be talking about foundations of growth and what that looks like as a believer. And the number one part that we're going to talk about right now, these next couple weeks, is repentance. We shared last week, if you haven't had a chance to go back, is we shared last week, what is the difference between our answers and the devil's answers? The devil would say he believes in God, he believes in God's word, he believes that Christ died, he believes that he rose again, he believes that he's coming back. We would give similar answers, but what's the difference? And a lot of you commented below, repentance, and that is correct. So what does repentance mean? What's the importance of this? Who is preaching this? So when we look in our Bibles at Matthew chapter 3, if you have them, open it up. If not, you can listen along and check this after. But in Matthew chapter 3, you have the great... John the Baptist proclaiming something. It says this, In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, because the kingdom of heaven has come near. For he is the one who is spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, who said, A voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John was preaching and proclaiming this word of repentance. Which, what does that mean? Well, there's a couple things. It means a 180 to turn away from from a direction I'm going to turn back and go the opposite direction. So to repent, I'm living a certain lifestyle. To repent means turn around, go away from. If you're a military person and about face, I'm marching one direction. I'm going to repent, go a different one. What does that look like for my walk with the Lord? Before I was an enemy of Christ, I was walking away from him in my sin. I've repented of that lifestyle. I mean, I'm going to turn around, do a different lifestyle. I'm not going to continue living a sinful lifestyle, living in sin. I'm going to turn away from that, live a new lifestyle, one that's going towards the cross. The other person is Christ himself. He says this in Matthew 4, 17. From then on, so this is after Jesus' temptation in Matthew chapter 4. From then on, Jesus began to preach, repent, because the kingdom of heaven has come near. Not only is it a new lifestyle of turning around, doing a 180, but it's also renewing one's mind. This is important. It's not just turning a 180. It's also renewing one's mind. In Romans chapter 12, 1 through 2, it says, Therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to the Lord. This is true worship. Do not be conformed to this age or to this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind so that you may discern what is good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. Not only am I not going with the world anymore, I'm going to flip a new lifestyle, renew my mind, have this transform my life, transform my mind of knowing what's pleasing to the Lord. So repentance is going one way, turning away from my lifestyle, going back to Christ, having this shape my life now, transform my life and my mind. Not only that, in Hebrew, you get the verb to return. I want you to know that you are a son or a daughter of the King of Kings, and the Father is calling you to return home, repent, come back to me. You've fallen, come back. And Joel even says, return back to the Lord. Right now, you can return back to him because you're a son and his daughter. But we've come, we've born into this original sin where we're living in sin right now. And to repent means just return back to the one who created you. So I hope you enjoyed this as we're going to dive deeper into what repentance is in these next divas. We'll see you guys next time.